Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us for Sounds Like Home, our three-day streaming music festival here at The Current. I'm your host, Andrea Swenson, host of the local show on The Current. And I am so excited about this festival. There have been some amazing performances already this weekend. There were a ton of great artists yesterday. And then just to kick things off today, we heard from Cara Loudon, who sounded so beautiful. And coming up later today, there are just so many, so many wonderful artists. Um, Remo Drive is going to close things out today at 7 p.m. David Huckfelt is at 6. Nerdy is at 5. Kiss the Tiger is next at 4. And right now, I am joined by 26 Bats. Well, two of the five of the 26 Bats are here now, Bailey and Carl. Hey. Hey. Hi. Thanks for having How us. Of course. How are you doing? We are doing well. We've been um, enjoying the quarantine as much as possible by just making music and biking and making art. So, yeah. Well, I'll let you take it away. Let's hear some music and then we'll have a little chat in a bit. All right. <laughs> That's wishing for a double grave. Oh. 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 I am hollow till the mouth, till the swallow, so fast leaves. I am hollow till the mouth. The bulbs I'm twisting, skin off shedding snake. Trust the Catholic Christian, confess to rape. Throw my coin, I'm wishing for another way. Phony disposition, all of it's fake. All of it's faith, all of it's fake. Oh, I am hollow till the morrow, pill the swallow, so fast lace. I am hollow till the morrow, pill the swallow, so fast lace. Got me right where you want me, right where you want me, arrows. Right where you want me, you got me right where you want me, right where you want me, arrows. Right where you want me, you got me right where you want me, right where you want me.
Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're too kind. Um, so that was a new song called Holy Ultimatum. And the next song I'm going to play is a song we just released called National Anthem. Shall we do it? All right. Mom's drunk and dad's watching TV. I think they're stuck doing the same thing.
Yes. I'm so glad that you did that. I was Thanks. so excited when you put out that new song. We're with 26 Bats right now. You're tuned into our Sounds Like Home digital festival here at The Current. It's a celebration of Minnesota music. And I really want to know what it's like to put out new music right now. It's awesome. I think it's such a good time to do so and to release National Anthem, which is about, you know, how America just keeps perpetuating the same cycles that are oppressive and not good for the environment, et cetera. It just feels, it feels very appropriate and cathartic. So I'm very thankful for that. Yeah. Well, I see two of you out of the five that are typically performing in, in 26 Bats. I am curious, you know, the last time that we really got a chance to speak and, and you visited the current studios, you were telling me a lot about the connection between the five of you and the Kremblum uh, Collective. So how are you staying connected right now with the other members of 26 Bats? What has this been like for you as a band? Um, it's interesting because we're kind of all in a place where because of like we all have solo projects, we're all kind of um, delving in that. We have this space now that instead of just gigging all the time and like practicing all the time, we finally have space to record on our own project. So to be honest, we've been all kind of separated, but interacting through the internet and stuff like that. But it's nice to have I would be honest, because we were playing so often <laughs> before. Now is a time to try to reflect a little bit and get into a more creative vibe. Yep. I think we might be having a little bit of connectivity issues, but I can still see and hear you, so I'm going to keep going. Okay. But apologies if if we're cutting in and out a little bit. Um, so I. I just want to know a little bit more about, you know, how are you spending your days right now? How are you doing in, in this time? Um, I have an art studio. Um, and so I go to that because I can be alone and paint, which is wonderful. Um, I've been making, uh, we've been recording a ton. So you can expect new music coming on the way. Um, yeah, I've been every day for the past month and that's been really good for my mental because at the beginning of quarantine that I kind of I went through it a little bit too hard but I think we all did at least at least um speak for us here <laughs> yeah yeah there was definitely a period of adjustment, I think, for everybody, and I think we're still going to be in it for quite a while. Well, um, it almost feels a little um, bittersweet to bring this up, but I wanted to ask you, because this is still so fresh in my mind, about performing at the Current's birthday party back in January, which was your first time performing in First Avenue. And it was just such an unforgettable performance to me. The energy was just off the charts, and I could tell that all five of you were just so psyched. So I was wondering if you could just tell me a little bit about what that experience was like for you. Oh my God, that was such a wonderful opportunity. I mean, ever since I was probably 15, I um, would walk through the walls of my high school with the yeah, 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 playing on my headphones and like dancing through the halls. And just like um, that year I got to see them live at First Avenue. And that's when like the goal kind of locked into my mind that I want to play on that stage. And so for that to finally happen, like, you know, years after that teen year goal <laughs> was made, it was just like, magic is real. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> it was a dream come true. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's just so many amazing artists that we've seen there. And it was kind of surreal to be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Uh, well, I know that I hope that we'll be back in that room soon, but I hope to see you back in that room as well, because that was just so fun. Uh, so this is Sounds Like Home right now. This is our digital festival this weekend here at The Current. I'm with 26 Bats right now, Bailey and Carl. We're going to have one more song before we bid farewell. What do you want to play? We are going to play this song called Last Time, and it's kind of like 
about the revolution and how we want one and we need one. So, yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, too kind. 
I love that. That just, it, that makes so much of difference. There's such an awkwardness to just the silence after a, an online performance. So thank you. Thank you so much, 26 Bats, for being here with us today for Sounds Like Home. This has been such a blast. I do want to give a quick thank you as well to the Legacy Amendments Arts and Health Cultural Heritage Fund, which is allowing us to pay all of our performers today and throughout the whole weekend. And thank you to members of Minnesota Public Radio. We just wrapped up our spring member drive. You can become a member over at thecurrent.org. Uh, coming up next, Kiss the Tiger at 4 p.m. I'm Andrea Swenson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to Sounds Like Home, a three-day virtual festival celebrating Minnesota music. Support for Sounds Like Home and the artists performing during the festival is made possible with the support of Minnesota's Legacy Amendments Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. All Sounds Like Home sessions will be archived at thecurrent.org.